that will be common so instead of representing by three different line we are representing the equipments by a single line and the quantity we will multiply by three and we will indicate in the boq table table of the sld drawing so today we are going to discuss for the sld development for 33 kv voltage level and a comparison between indoor panel and outdoor switch yard sld development we are starting from the bus bar bus bar as we know that a bus bar is a common current node on which all the incoming line terminated and all the outgoing line originated from the bus bar so this bus bar is a common current node and this bus bar work on the principle of the kirchhoff current law as per the kcl we know that on any node the algebraic term of the current should be zero if, if as per the kcl if there is any node on this node if this is three incoming line is coming on this node and outgoing line is going suppose this line this line and this incoming line current is 2 ampere 2 ampere 2 ampere and this outgoing and outgoing line current is 3 ampere 3 ampere so the algebraic sum of the current should be zero on this node so we extend this node on the both direction and this node called as the common bus bar in the single line diagram so we are starting from this bus bar from this node we are taking and today we are going to discuss all the about all the outgoing feeders this outgoing feeders about this incoming feeder in earlier class we have discussed so today we are taking how we will develop the SLT for a outgoing feeder okay. and one more thing how this bus bar this line we have drawn here to develop the drawing but how this bus bar looks in the switch yard in the substation so taking some picture how it looks like in the substation so this r page y page and b page this is this is conductor a csr aluminium conductor steel reinforced this is wear conductors this this is twin conductor this r page this y page and this b page and for the so this is the bus bar so this will also this will be the conductor so here we are using the conductors and we are stringing this conductor with the help of the support insulator and the gantry structures and this gantry structure is supported with the help of the towers so if we are doing in outdoor switch yard then this arrangement to represent the bus bar we will use now suppose we are using this bus bar in the indoor panel then how it will looks like for the indoor panel so this is it looks like in indoor panel like this this is the bus bar for a indoor panel this is bus bar for a indoor panel about this indoor about this bus bar sizing calculations we have done in the earlier classes so today we are not going to discuss about the bus bar sizing calculations about this bus bar sizing calculations this bus bar sizing calculations is depend on the total full load current and the short circuit current so based on this total full load current and the short circuit current we decide the size of this bus bar in the indoor panel so this is the bus bar for the indoor panel and this is some side picture for the outdoor type switch yard bus bar this one so we are representing this bus bar in the for the drawing representation by a single line so now case 1 we are taking indoor panel 
and another case we are taking for the outdoor switch yard. So single line diagram SLD. If this is outdoor type and if this is a indoor panel. An SLD for 33 kV voltage level. As we know that in 33 kV voltage we will use VCB type vacuum circuit breaker type breaker we will use VCB. So and this VCB for the representation have the two symbols this VCB this breaker vacuum circuit breaker is two type we use in the switch chart one is the fixed type and second one is the movable type drought type so if we are in the outdoor type switch chart so in the outdoor type switch chart we will use the circuit breaker fixed type so re to represent this fixed type circuit breaker we will use this symbol this symbol are sometimes we use like cross this symbol for the circuit breaker and this is fixed type circuit breaker f i x t if this is drought type circuit breaker electrical drought type circuit breaker that we use in the indoor panel so this circuit breaker representation will be changed and this arrow hat will come this is also a this also a vcb this is also a vcb symbol but difference in both symbol is this this arrow if we additionally draw this arrow in the drawing then this arrow represent represent this this vcb is electrical e the electrical draw out type we can withdraw this equipment from the panel so that is why we are seeing this electrical draw type VCB and this arrow represent this EDO property of this vacuum circuit breaker. This is basic knowledge we should know before starting to development of the single line diagram for the 33 kV voltage level. Now case 1 we are taking the outdoor type switch chart. And we know that we are using the fixed type circuit breaker. So in the fixed type circuit breaker, on the both side of circuit breaker, we will use isolator. The reason to use the isolator is this isolator provide safety, easiness for the maintenance. So that is why we are using, we will use the isolator so we starting from the bus so we draw a bus here we draw bus here this bus here will be the aluminum or copper strip this bus here will be will be the flexible conductor flexible conductor and here is the aluminum or copper is bus bar strip about this bus bar sizing we have discussed earlier so we are not again moving on this bus bar sizing calculations so for the outdoor type the first equipment after this bus bar will be isolator 89 this 89 is code for the isolator ansi code isolator and after this isolator the equipment it will come circuit breaker and after the circuit breaker again after circuit breaker CT will come here we will use the two core CT two secondary core one core we will use for the metering purpose for the metering purpose multi-function 
meter metering purpose and second core we will use for the protection purpose and here we start the protections from the overcurrent and in the overcurrent again two type of relay two type of protections we give the first starting point is the instantaneous overcurrent protections and for this instantaneous overcurrent protections the ansi code is 50 for the phase to phase fault 50 and for the phase to add fault then in the backup we give the idmt time graded overcurrent protections inverse definite minimum time 51 for the phase to phase fault 51 and for phase to add fault so this two number of ct core we will use here isolator circuit breaker ct then again isolator will come after and this isolator we will use the earth switch and the purpose of this earth switch we will discuss later on then lightning arrestor we will use and then this is a outgoing filter outgoing filter so here we, breaker is vcb type breaker vacuum circuit breaker type and the code is 52 for this ct we will do not represent any code equipment ct will come then again isolator and this isolator you put like a or b because we are using near the bus so a suffix b is coming here again isolator is coming then 89 l because this we are using on the line side then for the lighting resistor we have to put their name l so this deployment this slt will come for the outdoor type switch yard the reason why we are using the isolator here and here this isolator will provide the isolation complete isolation to this circuit breaker equipment for the maintenance purpose that is why this isolator is required but if we will draw this SLD in the indoor panel then this isolator is not required reason because here breaker is fixed type we cannot withdraw the breaker and here we will use the electrical draw out type breaker we can take we can pull the breaker for the maintenance then when we are taking out this break equipment breaker from the panel so this is automatically isolated from the supply so that is why this isolator and this isolator is not required there so here how we will draw the slt directly to the circuit breaker and this arrow represent this is this means this is circuit breaker and this is electrical draw out facility we can take off pull we can pull out this circuit breaker from the panel for the maintenance then ct will come again same ct will come two core one for the metering multi function meter and second one for the protections and for the protections same relay we will use again here 50 over uh, instantaneous overcurrent then idmt inverse definite minimum time overcurrent and the amount of fault current is high then for this relay operation time is less and this is instantaneous when there is any fault then this relay automatically operate when we have this relay then why we are giving this relay this relay we are giving just for the backup if this relay not able to operate then this relay will operate then isolator is not required and here we can use the isolate lightning resistor or we cannot use this depend on the applications and here equipment name will not be LA the equipment name we will give SPG self protection device so this requirement of SPD here depend on the applications of this feeder because SPD have their advantage but also have their disadvantage so about this we will discuss later on and then directly outgoing filter outgoing filter so this is a brief comparison in the SLD development for a panel and for a outdoor type switch yard so for today this is the uh, 33 kV and the same we will use for the 11 kV and for the 132 kV and other voltage level we will discuss 
in the next class so till then bye bye